Today we're going to break down DJ Jazzy Jeff's mixing style. So we're gonna talk about how we smoothly transition to the next song, how we accent his tracks, what scratches does he do, and a really cool technique that confused me. And I chose these specific techniques and tricks to break down because they're the most applicable stuff we can actually apply in our own DJ sets, whether we mix EDM or hip hop, have cheap DJ gear, or know how to scratch. So with that said, let's get started by talking about Jazzy Jeff's simple yet smooth technique to mix to any song and any genre. If that technique intimidates you, don't worry. Here's how to do that trick on a beginner DJ controller with no scratching. The beauty of this drop mix technique, besides the fact that you don't need to EQ your tracks, is that it's super simple. Since all you need to do is activate an echo effect on the song you're mixing out from, High pass filtered from the 12 o'clock to the 2 o'clock to the 5 o'clock position, then trigger your next song in. And this trick can work with mixing any type of song in, whether it's a high or low BPM song, and whether if it's another genre. The secret of this trick lies in the echo effect settings. So copy these echo effect settings if you're using Record Box DJ. Or Serato DJ. And now you have more control over your echo effect. Keep note that Jazzy Jeff heavily uses the echo effect, so if you want to properly do his following techniques, keep those settings. Now let's move on to Jazzy Jeff's mixing and blending style. So Jeff has a bunch of mixing techniques that really show that he's one of the greatest DJs of all time. Of course, us normal DJs can't pull those tricks off whenever we want. So I've chosen three specific mixing techniques to break down that we can actually apply in our DJ sets. And the third one, FYI, is my favorite because it's the most creative. But before we get there, let's first break down his loop blending technique. This is a very useful technique because no matter where you are in the current song, you can create any section in it to mix the next track in, provided your next track has an extended intro. The second technique is pretty effective to keep the energy of the mix going and may actually be a technique that you may already be doing. So this technique is a super smooth and clean way to mix an next track in. And here's how you can do this trick on your DJ controller. Now 
Now, before we move on to the third technique, which for me is the coolest one, in order to do all these techniques effectively, you're going to need songs with extended intros and outros. And pro DJs like myself and Jazzy Jeff downloaded acapellas, instrumentals, and tracks with intros and outros from DJ Record Pools. And you can think of DJ Record Pools as huge libraries of music of all genres where DJs can download all the tracks they could ever need. And the DJ Record Pool I subscribe to is Zip DJ. And you can get a huge discount on their services by using the coupon code DJ Carlo, or better yet, DJ Carlo Pro when you sign up on their site. Anyway, let's now move on to the third technique, which intensely involves the echo effect. So there are two keys to doing this technique effectively. Key number one is triggering your echo effect at the right time on the current song, and key number two is controlling the echo effect's tail when blending the next song in. Put your bands up, ladies, leave those hands up. Now, fellas, put your bands up, ladies, leave those hands up. Now, fellas, 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 when it be go, let me get a baseline for the people. Let's now move on to how Jeff likes to complement and accent his tracks. Again, these are the most applicable techniques we can use out of the many ones he has. So Jeff likes to accent his tracks with the echo effect. <laughs> The high pass filter effect. And an offbeat phase trick, which is like a manual delay effect. And here's how you can do this trick on your DJ controller. And now let's move on to some cool stuff I noticed about Jazzy Jeff's mixing. So first off, he doesn't touch his EQs when he mixes his tracks. Second, the strategies he prefers to do are the following and he usually combos them with each other. Baby Scratch Chirp Scratch Swirl Scratch Transform Scratch And if you want to learn how to do all those scratches and more, check out my beginner scratch course link down below. Anyway, if you're still watching this video, let me know who you are by commenting your favorite Jazzy Jeff technique down below with a sax emoji. And with that said, thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you all in the next one. Yeah.